the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And dear brothers and sisters, we <clears throat> are attending a, and participated in a beautiful service this evening, the liturgy of the pre-sanctified gifts. But today is a special day because we are in the company Of course, I'm not God, I can't judge, but I, we're in the company, I, I feel strongly, of a young saint. Her name is Julia, and she was sent into our lives for a purpose. We hardly knew her. We met Julia briefly two weeks ago. We learned that she was 13 years old. She just thir uh, turned 13. Suffered from a rare and very aggressive form of born bone cancer. Lost her left leg, was amputated. Two weeks is, out of 13 years is Nothing, of course. But in those two weeks, we were, learn, we, we were able to learn about her the most vital things. She received Holy Communion every day since she was sent to the hospital, Children's Hospital here in D.C. She received holy unction. She suffered very much the last five days of her life. And notwithstanding all of her sufferings, she never, ever complained. We spent quite a lot of time with her we never heard her complain. We heard her, of course, suffer from her pain. <clears throat> we witnessed how the only comfortable position she could find to take a breath was to sit up, put her legs between her, uh, her head between her legs, and spend hours like that. Every time she received Holy Communion, she would make it a point to give thanks. And her last words were, I love everyone. <clears throat> Thirteen years old. How many of us are capable of facing death the way she did. And isn't the reason we are Christians, the reasons we believe in the, the salvific death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, is that we have to prepare to stand before the face of death and say, as St. John of Chrysostom does on Pascha, where is your sting? Hell, where is your triumph? Christ is risen, and he <clears throat> defeated you through his resurrection, through his death and resurrection. And although she didn't say it in so many words, I'm sure that little Yulia had that faith that gave her the strength to meet death and to overcome death because she believed in the salvific meaning and grace of Christ's death and resurrection. 
Please pray for her. Although I think we are in greater need of her prayers. Let us remember her for the next 40 days. By the way, as someone pointed out to me in an email, that her 40th day will be May 1st, which is, of course, Pascha. May God grant her his eternal kingdom, and may God grant us the wisdom of 13-year-old Julia. Amen. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of age. Христос истинный Бог наш молитвами причистил.